Amanda Abington was impressing both viewers and judges week in and week out on the Strictly dance floor, however it was confirmed in last night's It Takes Two that the actress has sadly withdrawn from the competition. A spokesperson for Strictly added, Amanda Abington is unable to continue in Strictly Come Dancing and has decided to withdraw from the competition. The show wishes her all the best for the future. Before her dramatic exit, the Sherlock star, 49, had missed the weekend show due to medical reasons, prompting many fans to question what was wrong. Hosts Claudia Winkleman and Tess Daly addressed Amanda's absence and sent their support to the star. As per the rules of the competition, she's been given a buy and all being well will return to the ballroom next weekend. Amanda, we are all sending you so much love, Tess told BBC viewers on Saturday night. It came after it was formally announced on Friday night's edition of Strictly, It Takes Two, with host Jeanette Manrara sharing, we have some breaking news. Unfortunately, due to medical reasons, Amanda will not be taking part in Strictly Come Dancing this weekend. The following morning, the mom of two shared a poignant message with her Instagram followers, including a photo and quote from late actor Robin Williams, reminding people, people don't fake depression. They fake being okay. Remember that. Be kind. A source told the Daily Star that Amanda had been fed up, adding, the schedule is very grueling and after a series of setbacks on the show she has simply decided, with regret, that it's the right thing to do. Before then, rumors had swirled that she wasn't getting on with her professional dance partner Giovanni Pernice, who attended Saturday's show alone. However Amanda's representatives hit back against the reported feud, deeming it untrue. The actress, who was previously in a 16-year relationship with actor Martin Freeman, also took to social media before one of the live shows in September in a bid to set the record straight. After wishing her followers a happy Saturday, she said she was at work before correctly herself to say she was at Strictly HQ, which was just fun isn't it, it's fun shenanigans. Pulling a face at the camera, she said, I'm wearing my jacket that says who cares what other people think? Seeming to address the feud claims, she added, ignoring the bulls, because clearly people are t. And continued in a sweary rant, just stop it, stop it, grow up. No one gives a s. Shut up, it's bcks, so f off. You know who I'm talking to as well. Come on, jog on, it's nonsense and you know it's nonsense. It's all good. Are you sad to see Amanda and Giovanni leave Strictly? Vote in our poll here to have your say. At the start of the series, Amanda revealed she had been in the Strictly studio since 6 a.m. for the dress rehearsals before the first live show. She revealed she was CRPing herself out of fear and anxiety and had an anxiety dream last night that she forgot her steps. So it's the first live show. I've been up since 6 a.m. I had one of those anxiety dreams where you can't remember what you're doing, you forget your lines or you forget your dance. That's what I did today. I won't because it's been drilled, into me. Those anxiety dreams suck, don't they? The TV star said in the five-minute clip. When Amanda last appeared on the show, she scored 31 for a quick-footed foxtrot to Everywhere by Fleetwood Mac, one of her favorite bands. And during movie week, she achieved 30 points for her Bridget Jones-inspired rumba to Out of Reach by Gabrielle, 